Welcome to another Let's Talk We are here with our special guest, Minister Kim Billingsley. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and also we got me. Right. <laughs> also we got right now here, Crystal. She's back, she's back. And my name is <laughs> And my name is Cherry. And Crystal, Crystal and I are here on behalf of Deeper Life Gospel Center social media team. And we just, you know, came online tonight just to talk about, you know, our pastor's message. And, um, yes. you know, when he said the title, I was like, oh, <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. so, it so, Pastor Bell's, um, message was uh he called it big mouth uh -huh. loose lips and uh -huh. a bad heart <laughs> that was the title of pastor bill's message on this easter sunday that just passed and um yeah wow so crystal yeah. um can you read <laughs> us the scripture that he that he came up with this title from so he uh, got it from Matthew chapter 15, verse 8. Mm -hmm. um, I actually didn't write down the actual verse. I just wrote down what he said. Can you find that on your Google or something, Minister Q? So, yeah, it's uh, Matthew 15 and 8. Matthew 15 and 8. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, this people draw not with their mouth and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Mm. Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, that so that, that's the scripture that he used that that in that inspired this this title of big mouth, loose lips, and a bad heart. So yes. the question is, when you hear this title, it's like, oh, is that me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do I have a big mm -hmm. mouth? Do I have loose lips? Do I have a bad heart? You know, my, my heart is, is is punctured. Right. But I don't know if it's not bad, but it's definitely punctured. <laughs> but, you right. know, it's God is definitely healing, you know, those areas in my heart that needs to be healed. And, yeah. you know, and I'm just smiling on my way through the journey. <laughs> I had to question myself a few times in there, like, ooh. Right. <laughs> Was there anything in his message that stuck out to you in particular, Minister Kim? Well, um, yes. In fact, when you start with the title, Big Mouth, Loose Lips, and uh, Bad Heart, when I um, hear of loose lips, old school, uh, Flip Wilson used to say, loose lips sink ships. Ooh. And when he said loose lips, you know, that's what I, I, I just thought about. I just went there. I thought he was getting ready to go there. But it's, <laughs> it's so appropriate. I think the time we're in now, um, we're all dealing with what's in our heart. And I really feel like, and I have been sharing that with people over the last, like, three years, the things that we're being confronted with, it's causing us to see what's in our heart and to look at what's in our heart because mm -hmm. God really wants us to get it right. Mm -hmm. And once we deal with what's in our heart and how we respond to things, then we can really connect and receive what he has for us. And 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 a lot of times, I love that um, Pastor said, when you hear something, you should just kind of let it settle in and not just respond. And mm -hmm. like, you might want to attack and I know that in the industry that I'm in, um, it's very competitive and sometimes there's not a lot of representation of people of color. And when you hear some things, you you might want to respond. And then I'm just learning to just um, take a breath, take a breath and um, and really seek God to um, respond in a way that will be a win-win situation. And I'm um, seeing how that really has helped um, 
turn things around and have an outcome that I could never have um, constructed, responding like my heart wanted to respond because okay. our first thing is to feel like we're being attacked, you know, and so then once you settle down and um, something that I learned a long time ago is to have shut mouth grace. <laughs> And just a great place not to open my mouth on something. Just wait, to, what? Oh, um, no, wait. <laughs> Did you just say shut mouth grace? Shut that's mouth whole, grace. That's the sermon right there. Shut mouth grace. Yes, shut yeah. mouth grace. So I, I might not respond like I feel like I have a right to. So he's given me the grace to just be quiet mm. and mm. Um, wait to respond when it's not emotionally driven. You know, wow. so that um, I can respond in a way that addresses the issue, not charged with how I'm feeling about it, not yeah. emotionally, and um, really address the issue. Yeah. And not let it cloak over with so, me. So basically, you're mine. saying that's, that's what, that would be loose lips if you just, if you yeah. just say whatever when, in the moment when somebody yeah, says something to you, yeah. you just say, you know what? Yeah. Let me tell you what you not going to. Yeah. So, right. Just in case you wonder what, what what loose lips are, that that if, if that's you, your that's lips it. is loose, and you need to you need that's to it. get it. To, yeah. Pull them together because you're doing yeah. too much. <laughs> yeah. Right. Think before you speak. You know. Absolutely. Before you Absolutely. speak, definitely. That's crazy. Yeah, he spoke about that too in there. Um, he teaches us. He was talking about Matthew verse twenty three and twenty four. Um, teaches us to judge with discernment and mercy and also the, it's a time to do it and um, extended it to people also use your faith you know when we try to tell people things you know in judgment we have to do it with wisdom yeah you know? uh-huh. so that would that's what really stood out to me yeah um in the sermon and I, man, that whole sermon was just yeah, like, yeah. dynamic. He said so many things yeah. about judgment and but how it, we need to give people grace. You know, shut mouth grace. grace. As, as shut mouth just... grace. <laughs> yes, yes, shut mouth grace. Man, because you know, listen, listen, because it's frustrating when you around somebody and you know the right thing in your heart. And you know you you can feel God telling you to say something, but the thing about it is, is if you don't pray and ask God, well, how should I say it? And yeah. when should I say it? You know, right and, and right. you also should be praying, you know, that the other person receives it well. Because you know yeah. you mean well. You know? Yeah. Right. Because it's hard. Because sometimes you when you when God do finally put it on your heart to say something to somebody, you probably didn't have it up to here. Like Pastor said in his message, you on your last nerve at this point. Yeah. Your last yeah. nerve. And now God wants you yeah. to say something. It's like, okay, all right, yeah. God. Okay, I see this as an opportunity for growth because you know I'm frustrated. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You know it's been getting uh-huh. on my nerves. But now you want me to say yeah. something. So so I'm going to give me some shut my grace and just let you leave me. Okay? Because... <laughs> Loving it, shut my grace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. And then it, you know, because you can actually be, you know, hurting someone's way of getting saved yeah. doing that, too. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? A lot of times we, uh, we could say the wrong things to people, and they'd be like, you know what? Well, you know, that just hurt my feelings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And at yeah. that time, that's not what they needed, you know. Right. God deal, dealt with people in different ways of how he had people come to him and how he handled them in that time, Absolutely. you know. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. crazy how, like, and he also, another thing he talked about in his message was um, <laughs> managing your attitude. Ooh. And, yes. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> oh, he said something in his message that I instantly like wanted to start having a conversation about. So I'm glad we're talking about it today. And he said, he gave his definition of, of an attitude. And he was like, this is how you know if you got an attitude problem. Like if, if you try to get somebody to do something and they don't want to do it and they get an attitude, 
that's that's what he talk about. He like, okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. if every time I, you know, somebody asks you to do something and you may tell them no and they get mad and get a whole attitude with you, that that's a problem. You need to manage that. Mm-hmm. And he yeah. even talked about that, how yeah, he talked about how that can that can really that's really underlying somebody really trying to control you by getting yeah. an attitude when you tell them no about something or or something of that nature but when he said that i was like yeah yeah so now i got I'm like i gotta watch my attitude because i don't want to right. come off like i'm controlling you know yeah and that's, yeah, that's, that's really good yeah yeah no, that was, it, it that's really good. <laughs> no go ahead go, go ahead, ahead. Go, 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 go ahead <laughs> It's good because um, when you put it like that, um, it makes you really start thinking, okay, you know, what's in my heart? Why am I responding this way? Because they didn't want to do what I suggested to do. Um, So am I really trying to control um, what they're doing and control the outcome? And so, you know, just a lot of things um, that were spoken of Sunday. It it helped me to say, okay, just think about um, why are you responding like that? Um, because people have a right to receive, um, to do, or to you know, because you know that's their own that's their own prerogative. And so, um, if we just like God gives us choices, He doesn't make us do stuff. You know, yeah. He gives us choices, and everybody has choices. And so, um, it, it's best to try to win um, someone by explaining why it is that you feel like they need to do this uh, but not get upset if they don't agree yeah. we all sometimes have to agree to disagree that part yeah. <laughs> that part <laughs> and many friendships have you know um, have just like gone away like that because a friend you know, may have wanted you to do something or something like that, and you be like, no, I'm not doing that, and that's when the real person comes out, and that's that hurt that he was talking about, you know, cleaning on the outside and not, you know, taking care of the inside, the hurt. Like, why are you, like you just said, acting that way? Because we have to pay attention to how we are acting and, you know, realize, like, why are we, you know, acting like that, and I've lost a lot of friends like that. Yeah. They asked me to do certain things, and, and I said no. no. <laughs> like that's just not me. I'm not going to do it. And you know, I found out right then and there. Like, oh, if I don't do this, then we can't be friends anymore. Right. Like, wow. But that you, you know, know that means that was never really your friend. Right. That's right. true. Right. That that's was true. never your friend. That I is love so that you. Um, you brought out uh, Matthew 23. And so when Pastor went there, I had to, you know, just really laugh because I always look at it. Jesus had a nasty habit of telling the religious people that they were blind. They didn't have, they didn't know the scriptures. Yeah. You know, that, that they um, are just empty and, yeah. and they don't even know it. And mm-hmm. it's like, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, because of how you're acting, um, you're causing um, people not to um, receive the kingdom or receive the word. And so, you know, it's like, again, it's that heart issue. It's yeah. like um, if they had taken to heart and looked inside and see, well, why is he saying that? You know, mm-hmm. why is um, he calling us those names and saying, you know, taking it to heart? They could have seen that he actually was telling the truth. And, yeah. could, and they could have been one, and they were given an opportunity. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, it was just um, just, just such a, a, a wonderful message to, um, just to, to a real-life message. Like he said, keeping it real, the real, you know. Yeah. Let's, let's, yeah. let's deal with, with the real things, with the real issues. Yeah. And so yeah. sometimes, sometimes you do have to, say things that are harsh just just like he did in order to um you don't want to offend people but you do want to win souls so so it's real um important to just seek what god is saying do you know and to not have loose lips (laughs) and to make sure your heart is right like you mentioned you know when you're gonna say something make sure that your heart is right and that um it is actually something that god wants you to say 
Because I, I heard this preacher say once, he said, preach the word. And um, if you have to, use words. Meaning, yeah. let your life be let your the life word, what preaching the word. Yeah. Let your life, because what you do um, is going to come out. What's in your heart yeah. is going to come out in your actions. Yeah. So let your actions, like, preach the word. And, yeah, um, yeah. and so when we get our hearts right, we'll be in sync with what God is is calling for us to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some people have, have, you know, their uh, ministry is a harsh ministry, and that's what they were called to do, to just, you know, just like John. You know, I uh, want to to, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bring it, bring it, because that's how some people are one. Um, when you really bring it to them, then it causes them to have to really think about, well, what am I really doing in you know, what's really in my heart. So mm-hmm. each one of us, you know, just has a different way that God is going to give us to minister to people. So yeah. it, it, uh, as long as we're doing it, not of our own controlling spirit, yeah. but yeah. what God is saying, dude. And you know yeah. what? He said, Pastor Bell also said, he brought out in his message, he said, we must be about our father's business. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, if, and if you lesson. have ulterior motives, you're not yeah. about your father's business. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You out here, yeah. you out here being fake. Like Pastor Bill talking uh-huh. about them, uh-huh. them fake purses, the real versus yeah. the knockoff, the real versus yeah. the fake. If you out yeah. here, you know, and and you're doing things for personal gain, just to get attention, or just to sound like you know a lot, or you real smart, or or you real religious, then you fake. You like a fake Louis Vuitton purse. Yeah, and, you, and you I have start. experience with that. <laughs> Same. Same. It don't wear the thing. Uh, a couple it don't of talk about my dress. <laughs> oh, no. A couple of uses. And hey, that's all you right. know, it's right about sharing. <laughs> but you're real on but the inside, I'm, though. you real I'm on the inside. On the inside. <laughs> Look, you're real on the inside. That's your real hair. Listen, they that's been right. knocking for you. <laughs> Period. But but one more thing. Point. When he was talking about uh, Jesus did more teaching before he died than yeah. after he died. Uh-huh. And he was just letting you know how to deal with these situations before they even come up. He gave us instructions. He gave us ways to deal with them. Mm-hmm. And I just love that about God. Like, he never lets you go in blind. You know, he uh-huh. always prepares us for all of these ways, mm-hmm. you know, of uh-huh. trying to help win souls for the kingdom. Uh-huh. And I love the way that he taught us how to do that in, in all of his examples. So we do need to strive to be more like him, mm-hmm. um, you know, but we still have a ways to go. I know I do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I was just okay. thinking, thinking today, I was like, breathe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Inhale, exhale. Because I'm telling you, people really don't appreciate the art of a, taking a deep breath. Yes. You know, absolutely. I really have to remind myself to just relax, breathe, don't be so tense, don't yeah. don't be so quick to be offended. You know, just relax. Yeah. You know, you got to, yeah. you got to be a, a peacemaker, a peacekeeper. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, I was yes. thinking about that today. I was like, wow, a peacekeeper. I said, Lord, help me to be a peacekeeper. That means I have to keep yes. the peace. If Absolutely. I'm holding on, if I'm holding on to the peace, I can't let the peace fall. I gotta keep uh-huh. I gotta keep it. It's I gotta keep, keep it right here. No matter who trying to take it from me. Uh-huh. Isn't it hard from like the people that are really close to you because yes. they know you and they know what makes you tick mm-hmm. and all of that and it's like Lord, please help me out of here. Help me, like, help me, cause yeah. <laughs> he was talking about that, like the people that you live with he and did, all of did. that. Oh, yeah. like, I'm sure people out there can attest to, you know, the people that they are in quarantine with. Listen, you know, kids getting on your nerves, you gotta go at spouse getting on your out. nerves. <laughs> oh, not quarantine time out. <laughs> you go to that room, I'm going to go to this room, y'all go downstairs. Uh, I need the time out. Yeah, Man. and he said, you know, sometimes you just have to let stuff go. Yeah, let the small stuff Sometimes. go. Don't yes. um, swallow a camel and strain at a gnat. 
uh, just let the small stuff go. Mm. Um, and, you know, each year I, I just think of um, or songs um, that kind of set the pace for the theme of the year. Mm-hmm. And um, last year it was like um, just dealing with and when there's chaos, he still gives me peace because he's in control yeah. and he's writing a symphony. Yeah. And so, and this year is like no weapon formed is going to prosper, yeah. and that um, he's never lost a battle. And yeah. so, you know, I can just rest and relax in him that um, he's going to work it out. Yeah. That's something that I was um, sharing with the group. At, I added a. I heard this person say once they added another B attitude. Blessed are the flexible, or they won't Ooh. get bent out of shape. Oh, it, so, it just so resounded because That's I've just one. been applying that, right. you know, to be flexible, Man. to be able to let it go, and to um, not swallow a camel and strain at a net. Just yeah. let it go. I think, let I don't know what, just for, for anyone that's watching that don't know what we're talking about when we say, you know, to not swallow a camel and strain at a gnat. Um, there's, we, that's from scripture. That's actually in the Bible. Y'all listen, the Bible is funny. Like, if you really look at the Bible, <laughs> the Bible will come for you. Like, if, if, if you read it and this is you, it will come for you. So you just got to be ready to be like, oh, is that me? Oh, I think that is me. I, I do strain. Yeah. I, I am trying to strain out gnats and strain out gnats. And, and when he said that, you know, when he brought that scripture out, that don't don't strain at a gnat, that really just means like, to me, the way I took it, like, basically, don't be petty. You know? Yeah. Choose your battles. You know? If yeah. you Like, like we were saying, if you in the house with somebody and... Say you in a house with your your roommate. People have roommates. I've had a roommate before. Wasn't my most favorite thing. But (laughs) for real, they touch all your stuff. When you leave and come back, they done used your hair products. They done ate your good snacks. I'm talking about all of that. And y'all know right now, listen, quarantine snacks are not to be played with right now up in in this moment. Period. So, I mean, I feel like Getting into an argument over a quarantine snack might be straining at a net, but you know, <laughs> help me, Lord. I like my snacks. <laughs> help me, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> but you get that quarantine time out. Yep. And that's exactly what he was talking about about straining, yeah. straining at a net. You can't be, yeah. you can't be getting mad over every little thing. You know, it's it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's yeah, hard. and actually the spirit, um, it says the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And I just love, God's always talking about peace. He always wants us to have peace. And so um, some of those things that kind of rub us the wrong way, we have to follow peace, you know, with all men and just make sure that we go the way of peace, that we have peace in our heart, because that's what's so important. Yeah. And like you said, in of his kingdom and peace, there shall be no end. Mm-hmm. And so I just try to practice those things that'll give me peace because yeah. um it's so important <laughs> it is so important it is so important of all those I, things I, I remember praying for peace <laughs> <laughs> if you pray for peace god is gonna tell uh-huh. you Ooh. okay oh you want peace <laughs> okay i'm gonna send the storm and i'm, I'm gonna make see how peaceful you gonna be there. yeah Right, so blessed are the peacemakers. Yeah. Man, be careful what you ask for. Be careful. And definitely be careful what you pray for, because if you believe what you pray for and you actually believe that God hear you, guess what? Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. He will be trying trying you to see, like, oh, so you you a peacemaker. Oh, so you want to be a peacemaker. Mm -hmm. Oh, cute. All right. Well, the only way that's going to happen is for you to be put to the test, for you to be in some storms, for you to be okay. under some pressure and for just to see. Right. Because that's the only they way. Yeah, what we're going through now is really a storm. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, um, how we're dealing with it is going to really 
show what's in our heart, you know, and, and it's again something to say, you know, um, what do we believe about God? You know, mm-hmm. do we trust that all things are going to work together for my good and that he's going to work it out? Or do we fret and, um, and have the absence of peace and are frustrated? Mm-hmm. And so it's like a thing to practice peace because if you don't, then it brings all kind of other stresses that cause your body to respond in ways that it shouldn't be responding. And so, um, I guess God's word is just so foundational. Peace. You got, you got to, you got to walk in peace and have peace. Have your feet shot with the preparation of righteousness and peace. So, yeah. um, anybody watching live, if you want to join our conversation, I'm looking at the comments and, um, <laughs> people are laughing at, <laughs> laughing at us. Uh, <laughs> Minister Kim, they love your shut mouth grace. You need to put that on you need to put that on the t-shirt. Put that on the t-shirt. Okay, the shut mouth grace is that's definitely you have definitely planted a seed in my mind with that one because I'm gonna be in the storm and I'm gonna say shut mouth grace. Shut it up. Just shut it up. Um, so another thing, um, it was something else he talked about that I, that caught my attention. Uh, well, I know Crystal, you got, you got more notes over there than I have. Um, and also while she's looking at those notes, I just want to let you know if you are watching live and you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, you can go to YouTube. And go right in that search area and you can type Deeper Life Gospel Center. Or you can even hit that little microphone picture and you can actually speak Deeper Life Gospel Center into the search and it'll bring it up that way. Yeah. All right. So what's which, which your oh, note so, saying? <laughs> so don't let people judge you about your sin because they don't have, have a hell or heaven to put you in. Listen, now, that, first, of all, uh, first of all, that was bars. First of all, that was bars. Okay. I was like, okay, Pastor Bill. Come on, bars. <laughs> I was like, okay, I hear you. Bust and rhymes, flows, lyrics. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All of that. Cause the, and and I, I, I know that. he said to look at each other and say something like, uh, you are not Jesus or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. Yeah. Because he was just saying, you know, like we were saying earlier, you got to be careful on the way that you present the gospel to people because you could just turn them away and turn them off. Yeah. And, you know, so many people are in condemnation about sin. And, you know, God will clean you up once you get into this life. He will He will help you take get all of that out of you. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't need anybody just all the time pressing on you about what you're doing, what you're doing, yeah. what you're doing, because God will do it. I'm telling you, he will convict your heart, and yeah. he will do it. Yeah. Don't let that stop you, those that are out there. Don't let that stop you. You know what I'm saying? You will, once you come into the knowledge of it, he'll change you like every day. Right. I've been changed. Because yeah. knowledge, listen, knowledge is power. Okay. Uh-huh. Knowledge is power, and reading is fundamental. Those are two, okay. like... Those are two phrases that don't ever get old. The yes. truth never leaves yes. those two phrases. Knowledge is power. Yeah, because um, it says my people perish for the lack of knowledge. Yeah. And so, <laughs> yeah, and so um, I tell you, and I love that God knows the heart, and he mm. really does, because we look at the outside, the outward appearance, but God sees the heart, and he knows what's actually going on with a person. Ooh. And so we can't judge. I mean, we can't judge because he's dealing with the heart. Mm-hmm. And we are his, and he didn't make us lords over the people. <laughs> if there's only one lord. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh, that's another t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Minister Kim, we just want to say thank you for joining us on this episode of Let's Talk Tuesday. You... Oh, sure. It's been wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you for your invitation. Man, you've been dropping. Have a peaceful evening. Oh. <laughs> 
you have been <laughs> dropping these one liners through this whole yeah. thing. And I think we, listen, we all appreciate the shut mouth grace. And and <laughs> and as we log off from this live conversation, everybody just remember the shut mouth grace. As you go on with your day, <laughs> as you quarantine in the house with your family, your kids, your roommate, your spouse, whoever it is, just remember to tell yourself to woo side and, and get you some shut mouth grace. All right. <laughs> okay. So join us again next Tuesday for another episode of Let's Talk Tuesday. And you can watch this episode and all of the previous episodes on our YouTube channel. Deeper Life Gospel Center on YouTube. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. Pastor Bell's messages are there on, on the channel. So if you want to see the, the message that he preached on Easter Sunday, which is the message we're talking about, the big mouth, the loose lips, and the bad heart, make sure you go to our YouTube channel because it will be there. And, you know, get you some knowledge about what we were talking about so you can get... And in, in the Bible somewhere, I believe it said, and all you're getting, get an understanding, right? So you all get your own understanding, just like we got our understanding. Go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, get notified, and we'll see you next week on another Let's Talk Tuesday. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> like and follow us on Facebook at Deeper Life Gospel Center. And join us next week for another episode of Let's Talk Tuesday on Facebook Live. Talk to you soon.